Welcome along to another video presentation from Saturn Alliance. This video will look at the process of installing Small Business Server 2008 RC0. Some things to note before we commence our installation. Firstly, you're going to require an initial partition disk size of at least 60, 60 gigabytes. Secondly, it's important to note that all files will be installed by default onto the C drive. Some of these can be re relocated after the installation. And finally, there is a migration option that is available, however it will not be discussed in this video. If you're looking for more information about installing, migrating and administrating Windows SharePoint, have a look at our website, wssops.satinalliance.com.au. There you'll find our Windows SharePoint Operations Guide. So let's get into it. Once you've booted the Small Business Server machine with the DVD, you're presented with the initial screen, in which you can choose the language to install, also the time and currency format. So work through the list and select the one that you require and then hit next to continue. On this screen you'll see a number of options in the lower left that you can select to give you more information about the installation process but generally just select the install now button to continue. Next you'll be prompted to enter the product activation key for Small Business Server. Enter the information for this in the area designated and then hit next to continue. Accept the license agreement terms and hit next to continue. The only option that's available on a new machine is a custom install. Select this to continue. You'll now be presented with a list of disk drives available on your system. Note that Small Business Server 2008 requires an initial C partition of 60 gigabytes. So, provided that you've got the space there, you can select the disk onto which you wish to place Small Business Server 2008, or you can select the drive options to make some advanced changes. But we'll select this partition and hit next to continue. and the installation process will now continue unattended. You'll be automatically copied the files, the files will be expanded, we'll then ins start installing the features and you'll be prompted as required. After SPS returns after a number of reboots, you'll be presented with the file about continuing the installation. Simply hit next to continue. You'll now be presented with any warnings or issues that may prevent the installation of Small Business Server 2008. As you can see in this case, Small Business Server is asking for 4 gigabytes of RAM, which we currently don't have in the system. Uh, all you need to do is acknowledge these warnings to continue. Once you've acknowledged this warning, simply hit next to continue. You need to verify the time zone setting and the clock. This is correct, simply hit next to continue. This small business server is unable to find a network card, you'll be presented with the following screen. You'll need to open the device manager and install any additional drivers required for the network card on the system. Once that has been completed, click the test adapter again to check the setup and allow SBS to continue installing. 
next you'll be presented with the option as to whether you wish to go online and install any of the recommended updates. At this stage I'll choose no because I'm not connected to the internet. The installation will then continue on. You'll then be prompted to enter your business and company details, enter these and click next to continue. You'll then be asked for a server name and also a domain for your network. Select these entries and then hit next to continue. You'll then be asked to enter a administrator account because on SBS 2008 the default administrator account will be disabled once this has been created so enter in the details for an administrator account and also enter in a password. You'll notice that because of server 2008 requirements the password must conform to these two options selected down the bottom. You will not be able to continue with the installation until the password conforms to these requirements. When it does you will note that they are indicated with a green check mark. Once all is correct, hit the next button to continue. SBS 2008 has all the information now that it needs to continue with the setup. Simply select the next button to continue the installation process. After a number of reboots and file copies, the server will come back and display the following screen indicating that the installation has been successful. Basically it is now complete, simply click on start using server link and what will appear is the Windows SBS console. So from here we can continue to maintain and set up our small business server by connecting to the internet, setting up users and groups and working through the other options that are available on the console. If you found this video presentation helpful we appreciate our donation via donation.satinalliance.com.au I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for watching our video and remind you that if you have any questions about the content please send me an email at robert at satinalliance.com.au Keep up to date with what's happening via my blog supportweb.ciaops.net.au forward slash blog. Thank you very much.